So this guy, his name is Joe McQuaid. No, he's a, he's, he's a lowlife, I'm telling you. He said, could you do me a favor? Chris Christie is not on the big stage. Could you tweet that he should be? If he endorsed Christie, I don't care. I mean, that's up to him. But you don't go and try and hurt somebody that's been helping you and that really has done a good job, okay? You don't do that. So here, you can have it, darling. That's all it's worth. Piece of garbage. And welcome to Gimme Five, ladies and gentlemen. That was Trump in New Hampshire trashing the New Hampshire newspaper, the union leader and its publisher, Joseph McQuaid, who endorsed, along with the paper, Chris Christie for president of the United States. Now, ladies and gentlemen, uh, at least the Republican nomination. Now, uh, he didn't stop with trashing the newspaper or the newspaper's publisher. He went on to trash Governor Christie. Watch. He said, could you do me a favor? Chris Christie is not on the big stage. Could you tweet that he should be? I tweet. It would be nice to have Chris Christie on the stage. You know, I felt like a little weird. People call me saying, what do you do that for? I said, Joe McQuaid from the, you know, I figured I'll get some better treatment, right? So tell me what happens. He endorses Christie, and that was okay. And I figured that was going to happen because when he called me up a couple of months ago to see if I can get Christie onto the main stage, I said, I think he's going to endorse Christie, right? Why would he be doing that? And the first time I met with him, he said, I'll never endorse Christie. And the reason he said that, he hated that Christie embraced Obama so strongly before the election, right before the election. And what he's talking about is the 012 election when Christie, who was the keynote speaker, uh, unfortunately, at the Republican National Convention, uh, which a speech that was all about himself, by the way, uh, embraced and hugged uh, Obama because uh, hero Obama came and saved them from uh, Hurricane Storm, uh, Tropical Storm Sandy. Of course, there are still people, victims of Sandy, that have no homes and have no money and haven't been helped. I don't hear Christie talking about what a failure Obama's been. But anyway, Trump did not stop there. He went on. There are many people that think that that endorsement, when Obama went to New Jersey, that that endorsement was responsible for the loss of the Republican Party in Romney. I mean, it, it was certainly not good. Honestly, it was terrible. It was where they had the flood, they had the hurricane, and Obama went to New Jersey, and it was like, he was like a little child, Christy. It was like he was so, right? It was unbelievable. He was like a little boy. Oh, I'm with the president. Remember, he flew in the helicopter, and he was all excited to be in the helicopter. I said, I would have put you in my helicopter. It's much nicer. Yeah, actually, uh, it, it was disgraceful. It was disgraceful. Christie, it, Christie is disgraceful on so many levels, of, as we've documented on this show, and we will continue to document. But remember the George Washington Bridge fiasco when, and people have been indicted, when Christie was accused of knowing about closing lanes to the George Washington Bridge because he didn't like the mayor of that town, and it caused all kinds of chaos? Well, turns out Christie has been above the fray. Nobody's pinned anything on him, but watch. Now, the George Washington Bridge is the largest in the United States, and it's the most traveled on bridge, I believe, in the United States, right? They want it as retribution for the mayor of Fort Lee, New Jersey. They want to close it. You are with your cabinet. You're with them all the time. They're closing the biggest bridge in the United States, most traveled on bridge, one of them in the world, and most traveled on the United States. You're doing that, and you're not telling the governor, and you're with them all the time. You're not saying, Governor, by the way, sir, we're closing the George Washington Bridge tonight. No, no, you're having lunch and you don't happen to bring it up. Does anybody believe that, honestly? So he is implying, or basically saying, that Christie knew, had to know, about the whole George Washington Bridge closure. Wow, and there's one more. When McQuaid, who's really Christie's lapdog, I will tell you, it's, that's all it is. First of all, I know you're happy he's up here because he's up here. But you know, the people in New Jersey want to throw him out of office. They say, why isn't he running New Jersey? We're, we're a disaster state. We're going to hell. And our governor's up in New Hampshire every single day having town hall meetings. He ought to be doing it in New Jersey, in all fairness, okay? I mean, we love New Hampshire, but he shouldn't be up here all the time. He's supposed to be, he's supposed to be running the state. All right, look. He trashed him on the bridge. He accused him of knowing about the bridge. He trashed him uh, rightly for uh, bracing Obama uh, and for being out of state. There's a lot more he could get him on, and I predict he will. Thank you for watching, everyone.